Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to teach you how to do a scar that Amy has actually just taught me. I'm like off the side and Amy has just <laughs> done just done this Chelsea Smile tutorial on me that is going to be up my channel maybe before or after this, I'm not sure. So I'm going to just teach you how to do a scar and I'm using the Ben Nye Scar Wax. Yeah and uh yeah so basically you just get it pick a wee bit out of the tub and get it under your fingers and roll it into like kind of a sausage like shape <laughs> worm a worm might be better yeah and then you're going to put place it on the head and it, you can do this with um your fi your fingers if you need to but unfortunately i have very big hands and i also have really big nails so i'm just going to use this wee spatula just to kind of spread it down just till I get it stuck. Okay, so now once that's all blended out, you want to get like a sharp edge, so you can either get like scissors or something but please be really careful when you're doing this i'm just using oh this side <laughs> this sharp edge just to cut through the scar wax don't push it too hard or else you will end up with a real scar and then you won't need to do this for halloween <laughs> so just slice down and then what you want to do after is like go in and kind of make it bigger should I kind of wiggle it to like separate it to give it more depth and to make it look more open okay so what you want to do next is just get like a dark either it can be a really dark eyeshadow preferably a cream eyeshadow or this is the bruise wheel by Meron. <laughs> this is all Amy stuff. She does this as I was saying, so she knows what she's doing. So I'm just gonna take these two dark colours and get them right deep into the into the incision that you just made, just to give it loads of depth and to make it look like really, really deep. So I'm just putting taking this on like a wee paintbrush type thing and just trying to push it right, right in. And you want this bit to be the darkest to give it the most depth. Just like that, just to give it some depth because now that makes it look really, really deep and pretty gruesome if you ask me. So that's what I'm doing there and then I am going to grab some eyeshadow and this is just the sleek eye define eyeshadow palette that Amy keeps in her kit. And I'm just going to use like the purple and the reddy colour just to kind of create a bruise type effect around the the so-called scar so i'm just going to mix them and dab it around this is a pretty intense scar i would say maybe like a hatchet or something or <laughs> something as bad has happened anyway okay so now we're going to put um some blood on it just to make it look like a real open wound so what we're going to use is a thicker a thicker type of blood which is this is the blood paste by grimace <laughs> again in amy's kit <laughs> and i'm just going to put a wee bit on the back of a um of a lid this is very very thick so you want to put your thickest blood first isn't that right yeah thickest blood first so I just put it on the back and I'm just using the same wee paintbrush and I'm going to just kind of push it into the scar and the good thing about this being so thick is it makes it look kind of like almost like blood clotting in the scar and just makes it look really really real and effective If you can see that, I think it just gives it more of a 3D effect, which I really, really like. 
And next, you can keep it like that and that kind of looks more like an old scar that the blood has dried up and it's just bruised and sore looking. Or another way that you could do with that is what Amy suggested to me earlier was get some black thread and pull it through the scar to make it look like stitches. However, we're going to make it look like it's been freshly done that I've just hit Amy on the head. So what we're going to do is use my old makeup towel just to catch any blood drips because we are going to be using some um, real jelly false blood that can be quite messy so <laughs> do be warned I have it all over my face. <laughs> so I'm just going to get Amy to duck a wee bit and put her head back and I'm just going to drip this into the scar. And as you can see, it is just dripping down, which makes it look really, really effective and fun. Oh, I can feel it. Can you feel it? <laughs> <laughs> it feels so weird. But yeah, it just looks like I have literally just hit Amy on the head. And I think it's a really, really effective way. It's a 3D cut that looks real. And yeah, you could even just wear this going out with dark circles under your eyes and a bit of blood coming from your lip and that could be your quick outfit. So yeah. Thank you so much, Amy, for helping me out today and teaching me how to do so many cool things. Amy has an Instagram, so please, it'll be linked down below. Um, please, please go over to her Instagram and follow her because her work is absolutely amazing. She has such amazing ideas and she is so good at like special effects makeup. So yes, please, please go over and check out her Instagram. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!